All right, welcome to the first episode of Obscure Tech. Today, I'm going to show you an $11 smartwatch that I picked up off Amazon. Reason I did so is because I thought I lost my AmazeFit smartwatch, which you can see on the channel here. I did a review of it a long time ago, but I was browsing Amazon just, just curious about watches because my strap was breaking on the AmazeFit and I come across one that was normally 50 bucks and is routinely 50% off. So it's 25 roughly. And then it had an additional 50% off coupon. It was 11 bucks, like 11 bucks. And it said the screen was nice and OLED and, you know, decent looking, which I'll show you in just a moment. But $11 for a smartwatch? Yeah, it's probably not going to do everything, but it's probably going to be pretty good. So let's take a look at that watch real quick in some B-roll, and then I'll come back with my final thoughts. So here's the watch. You've got a uh, pretty standard, basic rubber strap. The watch is metal, pretty thin, really comfortable. Got your... Uh, what heart rate monitor there's a small magnetic connection there that's how you charge it cords plugged in at home but i mean quality pretty good there's the box just says smartwatch on it smartwatch then we got some specs 1.3 inch round screen resolution of 240 by 240 full touch uh, flash size 128 system requirements Android 5 or above or iOS 9 and above and a little QR code to download the app which I'll show you here in a few minutes but let's turn this on there we go and see the screen's not bad not bad at all not a lot of options of course you pull down you've got find brightness info and just basics, back swipe to go back. Uh, settings, you got reset. Info, bright, basically the same things that you had on the first screen. Now, if you go back to the watch face and you swipe right, you've got settings, find. There was a message, uh, walking distance, stopwatch, messages, and see there's there's the downside. Like you can't change this font and, uh, but at least it does show Messenger, Facebook, uh, WhatsApp's got a funny thing, but text, email, and you can clear. I'm not gonna do that. You keep swiping, you got weather, tap on weather. I mean, the colors and the resolution is really good for this price. Weather, training, click on that. You got outdoor running, cycling, skipping, swimming, badminton, table tennis, mountaineering, walking, basketball, football, baseball, volleyball, cricket, rugby, hockey, dancing, spinning bike. There's a ton, jumping jacks. A lot of stuff here. Uh, there's a sleeping thing, little sleep monitor thing. Uh, music control, uh, oxygen level, heartbeat monitor, beats per minute graph, uh, walking distance. Yeah. Then you swipe. Yep. And then if you just swipe up, you get straight to your messages. So you. Like I said, there's the vibration, that loose rattly vibration. Like I said, you cannot change the font or anything as far as the messages go, which I can read them, but if you were hard of, but hard of sight, I guess I could rephrase to that. It, it might be a little difficult, but I'll put it on. I gotta say, it's probably one of the most comfortable watches I've ever worn, and that's kind of glowing for the price. So, yeah, and you can change the band with ease actually, because this band is really, really basic, but it does have the the quick change pins on the band. All in all, for 22 bucks, well, 
let me give you my opinion face to face. Okay, so if you're just a notification person, you want your notifications, you want a decent screen and battery life. By the way, battery life, I've used this thing on and off for like a week and it's right now just kind of gotten down to 75%. I have shut it off and switched watches, but over that span of a week, I've probably used it for, I would say three full days worth of time and it's at 75%. By my estimation, you're probably going to get pushing two weeks of normal use out of this watch, especially if you don't get notifications nonstop, you're, you're probably going to get a lot of use out of it. So there's some downfalls, the, the fact that the font can't be adjusted and there's no real customization. But again, if you want a notification watch with a nice screen, good battery life, great build quality, surprisingly, like 11 bucks, fantastic build quality. So if all you care about is knowing about your notifications or if you're like me, you keep your phone on silent and uh, you like to have everything just vibrate on your wrist so you don't have to pull your phone out all the time and you can just casually look at your watch this is kind of a steal at 11 bucks even at 22 dollars the normal price which link in description if you want to buy it uh, it is an affiliate link so it does help to support the channel but again uh it, it's a it's quite a steal honestly at the price so i think it's a good one the biggest cons again no customization really but that's okay with me and the vibration does sound more like a buzzer to get into an apartment complex than it does a actual true phone vibration. It's it's a little rattly, but I can hear it. It gets the job done. So 11 bucks, Obscure Tech. I think this is a good one. Uh, we got some noise canceling headphones, I believe, coming up next from Impal. And I'm going to try to do phones, you know, anything that's of value that's obscure or weird branded or just odd. There's a lot of that on Amazon. Uh, you're going to see a lot of that on this channel. If you have any tech that you want reviewed or ideas that you want to see come to fruition on this channel, uh, reach out, bark at obscuremikes.com. It's obscuremikes.com, not obscuretech.com, because my main channel is Obscure Mics because I'm big on the microphones. So again, I highly recommend it for the price. You just got to know the shortcomings. But as far as just the notification watch, it's a very strong purchase at $11. Peace out.